I'm here today at Peckforton Castle for an exciting Land Rover experience day. I'm going to have somebody instructing me. His name's Wayne, so let's go and meet him and see what the deal is. Wayne. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? You well? Welcome to Land Rover Experience, Cheshire. Ah, good nice man. to see you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. I'm, I'm super excited. What have you got in store for me? OK, I'm going to be driving for five to ten minutes. I want to show you how the Discovery 4 works mm -hmm. in a little more detail. So mm -hmm. you've got a better understanding of the car and the terrain. From there on, the session is yours. I'm going to be instructing you and we're going to be tackling some really extreme terrain where we're going to test both you and the car. Right, so big hills, big declines, loads of water. Loads of water, big hills, some 45 degree hills up and down and some nice deep water for us to go through today. You're going to love it. Sounds grand. Should we give it a go? Let's go. Super. Absolutely packed with technology, the Discovery 4. Mm -hmm. It's cutting edge technology, um, off road and on road. For us coming down this um, potentially slippery road in front of us, I'll just give you a quick example. Mm -hmm. If we select hill descent control, now I can come off the brake pedal now, and you can hear hill descent oh, yeah. control pulsing the brakes. If you think your speed down this driveway is a little bit slow with hill descent control, bearing mm -hmm. in mind I'm not using the pedals, I can make it go a little bit quicker. So or, maybe. if I think it's a little bit quick here, I can make it go a little bit slower. That's amazing. By keeping your feet off the pedals. Yeah. For us, it gives us the control of an instant expert. That's our expert. You don't need to be an expert off-roader to get the best out of this car now. Okay. All we need to do is say, well, it's a standard road, mm -hmm. it's a standard program. Or we're about to go off-road into muddy conditions, you would tell it mud ruts. Okay. All right. By doing that, the car sets itself up to give you more control off-road. Right. It will raise the car for ground clearance, mm -hmm. suspension. Ah. It will switch on the hill descent control. It will pick a gear that suits that terrain. And that's it all even, happening now? Absolutely. And it even changes the sensitivity of your throttle to give oh, you better okay. feedback. That's millions and millions of pounds of technology. Got to be. It's a few more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. But when you're looking at a discovery price tag, you're paying for this technology and, and this advancement that mm -hmm. the manufacturers haven't got. I feel like I've learned loads already. Do you think I'm I'm ready to give it a whirl? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you good to go? Yeah, why not? Should we get it all right? Perfect. As you can see, I am in the middle of nowhere, right in the wilderness. But now it's my turn to have a go of the discovery. See how I get on. Okay, so where are we going? Is this, is this so We're going to drop down here. We've got some muddy ruts ahead of us, which are leading towards a bit of a swampy area. <laughs> muddy ruts, you got Maybe under, <laughs> underestimate that. It's quite deep water, actually. We've got a nice bit of technology on the car, which, which can help us monitor the depth of the water now. Yeah. And that could be either a flooded road or a flooded off-road track. Like this. Oh, <laughs> you fighter. So it's a bit of a Ooh. swampy area. Okay. And that's, oh, is that the sonar thing? That's, that's checking the depth of the water now. It's looking down from the wing mirrors. That's it's awesome. Not too bad at the minute. It's at hub height, but it's getting deeper and deeper. Oh, so the more beeps. Hear, yeah. It's like my heartbeat. As the depth increases, <laughs> gives you a good warning. Wow. Didn't quite max out. We were close to it. So if you change your program to rock crawl, we're on rocks now, so that's going to give us better grip. The e-dips are going to be more aggressive. Oh, all right, so straight on the throttle, throttle and it's out. The map is different. Wow, is this? Straight out, perfect, well done. Wow. Ahead of us, we've got a side slope. Yeah. Okay, it's on your right here. We don't have a side slope setting on the car, but what we do is we set the terrain response for what the grip is, for what the terrain is. Okay. okay. So if I just turn the wheel as if it's going up it, just a bit of that route. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Oh, God. Good line. Wow, is this? The hill descent control will take over now. Bring you back down the slope. <laughs> Under nice control. <laughs> I like that. Yeah? <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Perfect. It's almost learning to do less okay. with your feet. Mm -hmm. Let the car settle. Once you're on the slope, use your cameras. Okay. You can't see anything from, from now. No, I can't see a thing. Oh, it's We're a... using the, the, the curb view. That is a weird feeling. To see exactly the vehicle <laughs> position. 
<laughs> Steady power delivery, the front wheels are trying to spin, the traction control stopping it. Wow, I am having to use them cameras. That is 45 degrees. Through the windscreen, all as we can see is treetops. Wowzers. Back off the power now. <laughs> Hill descent control is ready to catch you for our descent. So that's not that's me with me two feet on the feet mat. On the floor. That's made me feel a bit sick, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> So if you try and keep a nice straight line over the top of these here, you're going to see a massive amount of wheel articulation. With the Discovery 4, you've got a system called cross-link valving. Mm -hmm. So as the left wheel rises now, it pushes the air into the right hand. Ah, air chamber. okay, yeah. So the vehicle's actually staying <laughs> quite level. Oh, right, I can feel it. It feels like I'm on a complete... This left wheel's in the air now. This Never. right wheel is tucked right up in the wheel arch. And I've... Back off now. That's it, no throttle at all. That was like a a wheelie. That front back wheel is two feet now. Wow! Ooh. The back wheel is <laughs> two feet now. It's really tipping the car through, twisting the car. It's a bit left on your steering. And that gentle, smooth power delivery now. Then back off. And you'll feel the car go light at the top. You'll want to start to just tip. And as it starts to go, back off there. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> really scary. Amazing. Wayne, I have had such a great day. I've been up hills, down hills, through water. I didn't do any endos, didn't do any wheelies, didn't put it on its side, didn't bend it. Did I do okay though? You did brilliant. Ah. You did brilliant. We showed you how it worked. You did it exactly as we showed you. It was perfect. So you've got great control of the car today. Over all this sort of terrain we've had, about 45 degrees up and down, deep water, as you said, we've maxed the car out. And you've done a great job. If I was to buy a Land Rover, yep. or I want an experience, is it a good thing to come here? I think it's excellent, but you, you need to know how to drive these vehicles, don't you? For people who are not as advanced, uh, as drivers yourself, then they need to, to keep nice and safe um, in winter conditions, slippery conditions, even off-road, of course. Uh, so coming to an experience centre will, will give them the confidence and the knowledge to, to use their product properly. Well, Wayne, I've had so much fun. I really, really appreciate your time. The guys have been, uh, been fantastic. Thank you for coming. Top man. Thank you. Awesome.